Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. I live in Mountain Village, Colorado. Uh, if you want to find out anything about me, you can go to MySpace where I have a uh, page. This here is about a secret that Charlton Heston had that, you know, wasn't a secret that nobody could know. It was just a secret that nobody really knew for many obvious reasons. There are secrets that we all have that are just basic secrets. and It's just something that we don't talk about, you know, because it's really... Most people would not probably be interested. But here is one that's very interesting. Now, keep in mind, I've never met Charlton Heston myself. So let me make that very clear. But I once wrote him a letter, and I suggested to him, and this was when I lived in Kalua Kona, Hawaii, on the Big Island. In 19, I actually lived there from 1980, uh, 1991, December 1981, to December 1994. and went back partly in 95 and then 98. And I lived in Oahu from 89 into 90. Anyway... I wrote him a letter once in January of 1994, and I suggested to him, you know, that he might, uh, he should consider the role of John, of, uh, the exiled John of Patmos, who wrote the book of Revelations. Of course, there's controversies whether he wrote it or not, but most, uh, you know, a large number of uh, scholars believe that he did. And um, in March of 1994, I received a, received a letter back from Charlton Heston stating that, yeah, he would love to play the role of uh, the exiled John of Patmos. In fact, after he did the Ten Commandments where he played Moses, uh, people had wrote him then and suggested that. And he said the problem was that nobody ever wrote him, would write a script on it. So not knowing how to write a script, I tried to learn to write one, and I wrote him something like a script. It, it wasn't professional. Um, from then on, because it was not sent back, usually you can't send something like that to an actor or something like that for because of, you know, legal reasons. You know, you usually got to send something like that through uh, the WGA or something. And uh, you need an agent, of course. And I didn't have an agent at that time. I just acquired one named Al Lynn. But he uh, he never represented me on that, with that, anyway. But nonetheless, um, I sent him something. And it was odd it didn't come back. Now, I've sent things to other entertainers back in those days where almost every time it would come back. But this one didn't come back. And so, the, to the best of my knowledge, he tried to find a studio in, to make this movie, or who would consider making this movie, and never could. I think it ended pretty much the uh, effort of his, ended probably in 2000. Now, he did have a, a studio of his own, I believe. Oh, well, I know he did, but I don't, it's, you know, sometimes these studios are not like a big building, you know, with people working all the time and things like that sometimes. Um, it's just, you know, a name and if they can get the money and so forth, and they hire the people and they make a movie, and then it, and then these people, you know, might end up being laid off again. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I know that his son, uh, I think, it was the president of it, or is the president of it, and his name is Fraser Heston. He's the uh, baby that uh, appeared in the movie of the Ten Commandments, and it's a little baby going down the uh, make-believe uh, Nile River. You know, at the beginning of the movie, where uh, the family of Moses, uh, mother and daughter wanted to hide him from the Pharaoh's wrath where he's going to be, where the firstborn were going to be all killed. But what, I, but what I'm starting to say here is that Charlton Heston really wanted to play, betray the character, uh, the exile of John of Patmos from the book of Revelations, all the way ever since he did uh, the Ten Commandments. He really wanted to do this. And I even wrote him back in 1995 when I'd actually moved to Keystone, Colorado, I think it was in... 96, I think it was. Yeah, excuse me, 96, January 96 of, of uh, when I was in Keystone, Colorado, that he ought to consider, uh, you know, because of his voice, maybe reading on the uh, on audio, uh, the Bible. And I think he did that. Now, that doesn't mean that I gave him the actual idea. I may have just been one of many people that gave him the idea. And as far as I know, he may have already made that uh, before I even suggested it. So I'm not 100% certain about that. But I did suggest it, and to the best of my knowledge, he had not done it yet. But it was really good, and um, when he did. So, the secret really is that, and most of the world will never know, unfortunately, is that he really wanted to betray the exiled John of Patmos. But the entertainment industry is so bigoted against anything that's of the Christian religion, or anything from Matthew to Revelations, uh, that it was never done. Even a big star like him couldn't, could not... Uh, launch something like that. 
Uh, that's just the signs of the times. You know, maybe back in the 50s or 60s, and maybe even 70s, he could have. Um, but there may have been other things that prevented him from doing it. But his main letter to me, and uh, which uh, came in the mail in March of 1994 in Kalua Kona, Hawaii, on the Big Island, and at that time I was working at the King Command Mail um, off of Lehi Drive, uh, was that nobody would write a script. That was it. Nobody would write the script. So I still think the man made it to heaven. You know, he, know, he knew the way. He knew what the Bible said he had to do. And um, hopefully maybe he'll ask God to find somebody now that will write a script, a real script, a good one. And maybe a movie like this will come about. Uh, so I hope so, but that's just what I wanted to share with you is that it was a shame that he never got to portray this role And I just thought that people should know that he wanted to portray the exile John of Patmos and He never got the opportunity to do so because of the bigots and the entertainment industry. There are so many of them uh, They just don't have very much toleration for anything like that anymore Anyway, thank you for your time, and I hope this enlightens you a little bit if you're a big fan of uh, Charlton Heston like I was. Bye.